Hi, I'm Anthony Galdi. And I'm Sean McCourt. Wicked's costumes are unparalleled in their intricacy. In this edition of Behind the Emerald Curtain, we'll zoom in for a look at the exquisite beading that makes them really shine. We'll also meet the artisans who stitch and sew these wearable works of art with unmatched skill. It's essential for me to have really trusted um, associates, what I would call companions in this process. I knew I had to go to Barbara Matera Limited because I knew Polly who works there and I know that she's a genius when it comes to helping make decisions about all of the things that can, you can work with when you're doing beading on a dress. Here at Barbara Matera, I'm the beading designer and I also manage the bead room, which means I have to make sure that the work that needs beading gets in there in a timely fashion and then gets out of there in a timely fashion. The beading has to go in a very specific pattern, in a very specific place, with a specific choice of each bead. You can't believe how many decisions have to be made in every beading pattern. When Susan came in, we were very excited about doing this show. A lot of us had read the book. We just knew it was going to be a fun experience. What happens with a designer is they bring us their sketches first and then we have a meeting with them to discuss what does this sketch mean. Polly has a really great eye to interpret uh, an idea that I have. I do a sample first and then um, I'll draw that on the fabric that we're gonna use. We'll draw in pencil where the beading is gonna go on the garment. Whatever that design is, I take the pattern and draw all that. That could take seven hours to do. And then we'll put that in the bead room. We literally will lay out all the beads and start to choose, I think this is the right quality. Polly has a great eye because she can then understand what I'm talking about and guide me to all of the right choices. The beading has a whole language all its own. Do you want an empty stitch? Okay, what's that mean? It means a bead and an empty stitch and a bead. So the beads are spread out a little bit, so it's lighter. No empty stitch, they're one right after another, which makes a strong line, if that's what you want. Pull back is when they use uh, this type of bead, which is a number two bugle, and they line them up like that, side by side. In order to beat it, it has to be stretched on a frame to keep it taut, and then the frame is set, in our case, on sawhorses, so they can get their hand under and above the fabric, both. It's done one bead at a time. There's no hot glue involved. One bead at a time is sewn on. When you do beading on a costume, I think that it adds a whole dimension that it wouldn't have if, if it didn't have the beading. I like a mixture of things put together. Some are dull, some are shiny, some are cut with, with straight edges, some are rounded. Even though they're tiny, it does make a difference. And I feel that while we can't see from the audience, you can't see all that you get a feel of it. It makes an impression. I feel very lucky that we've been able to meet and work with artisans who have the skill and experience to continue this art form. It's an amazing process.